Sleeping Beauty. Once, when fairies still roamed the land, a baby princess was born. Seven fairies came to her christening, and gave her wonderful gifts. Goodness, beauty, kindness. Curiosity, generosity, bravery, cleverness. It was a lovely party until a wicked fairy arrived. You didn't invite me, she shrieked. But I have a gift too. When the princess is sixteen, she'll prick her finger on a spinning wheel spindle and fall asleep for a hundred years. No, gasped the queen. Lock away all the spinning wheels! cried the king. My daughter must never be allowed to prick her finger. Years passed happily, and the princess grew up. She was clever, beautiful, brave, and good. On the morning of her sixteenth birthday, everyone was busy getting ready for her party, so the princess went exploring. She found a little old door in a little old tower. Inside, an old lady was sitting at a spinning wheel. The princess had never seen a spinning wheel before. May I have a turn? She pricked her finger on the spindle. Ouch! She cried and fell at once into a deep sleep. In a puff of smoke, the old lady turned back into the bad fairy, and flew away laughing. <laughs> But the good fairies took care of things. They carried the sleeping princess to bed. Then they cast a spell, so everyone else fell asleep too. And a forest of roses grew up all around the palace. For a hundred years, the palace stayed lost in the forest of roses. Then one day, a prince came along. I wonder who lives here, he thought. And with his sword, he slashed through the tangle of thorns. And slipped through the palace gateway. He crept past the sleeping guards. And into the palace. Then he tiptoed past the sleeping maids, and past the sleeping king and queen, and up the stairs into the princess's bedroom. He found the princess there asleep, and he gave her a kiss, and she woke up one by one. Everyone else in the palace did too. And that day, the princess had the best birthday party anyone has ever had, and the bad fairy never came back. The end.